friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we are going to learn about an invisible force of nature, a force capable of attracting and repelling things without touching them. Today we are going to learn all about magnetism and its secrets. Magnetism is the property that some materials have of attracting metals such as iron. These materials are known as magnets. Now it's starting to ring a bell. Yes, I'm sure you've seen magnets many times. On the fridge, in some toys. And did you know that they are super magnets? Capable of lifting cars? How cool! The first magnets were known about 3,000 years ago in Greece in a place called Magnesia. It was a mineral, a stone called magnetite. Imagine the look on the faces of the Greeks when they saw that a stone could attract iron things. Naturally, they thought it was magic. But thanks to science, we know that it is a physical phenomenon. Do you know how magnets work? All magnets have two poles at their ends. The North Pole and the South Pole. And it is there that the magnetic force is concentrated. Yeah. The poles generate a magnetic field. If we place an iron object inside this magnetic field, it will be attracted by the magnet. If we take two magnets and we join their opposite poles, that is, the north pole of one and the south pole of the other, they attract each other. But if we turn them around and try to join two magnets with the same pole, they repel each other. It is impossible to join them. But this is not the end of the amazing things about magnets. If we break a magnet in half, we do not separate the poles. But we will have two smaller magnets, each with their own North Pole and South Poles. If we break it again, the same thing will happen. And so on into infinity and beyond. Did you know that the Earth is a kind of magnet? Yes, the Earth has magnetic properties. This happens because its core is made up of a mixture of iron and nickel. As the Earth rotates, the core turns our planet into a gigantic magnet because it creates a magnetic field around it with two poles, the north and the south. Yes, just like magnets. These magnetic poles are more or less close to the geographic north pole and south pole. The compass needle is magnetized and therefore it always points north. Interesting, isn't it? From the time the Greeks discovered magnetite, up until today, many things have been discovered about magnetism. The Greeks thought it was magic. We now know it is science. But we also know that magic and science can be a lot of fun. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Have you ever wondered why the television in your house works, the streetlights light up, or a sailboat moves? The answer is very easy because everything works thanks to something wonderful called energy. 
Let's get to know it. The first thing we need to know is what is energy? Mm. Well, energy is like a magical force that makes everything work. It gives us light, heat, and the ability to move and move things. Without energy, everything would be still, silent, and dark. How boring! But how do you get energy? Energy is obtained thanks to renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Renewable energy sources are like inexhaustible treasures. They never run out. The sun, for example, is an incredible source of energy. It gives us light, heat, and its rays can be converted into electricity, which we can use in our homes. It also makes fruit grow so that we can eat them and produce our own energy. The energy in the sun gives us something called solar energy. Wind is also a renewable source of energy because it never is used up. Thanks to the wind, the wind surface can sail this fast. All these big windmills can generate a lot of electricity. This energy is called Aeolic energy. Because Aeolus was the Greek god of the winds. <laughs> Water also gives us a lot of energy thanks to its movement. The currents of rivers and the force of waterfalls are converted into electrical energy in hydroelectric power plants. This type of energy is called, logically, hydroelectric energy. Non-renewable energy sources are those that are used up they are exhausted, they are not renewed. Oil, for example, is found underground and is used to make fuels such as gasoline. We use so much oil that there is less and less of it. The same goes for coal or gas, which we use to heat our homes. Although these sources give us a lot of energy, it is important to know that they are running out and that they are really polluting our planet. The truth is that they are not very good. Well, now we know what energy and renewable energy sources are, as well as non-renewable one. But before we say goodbye, we want to tell you that you have to take care of our planet. That renewable energies are the environment's best friend and we have to save electricity and water to pollute less. If each one of us respects and takes care of everything that surrounds us, we will live in a healthier and happier world. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.